We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today I get a chance to finally dive in and check out Racine, or Racine, or Racine. I don't know how to say it. It's R A C I N E. And uh, it's going to be some good times here. It's uh, sent over by the folks at Goblins Studios. Uh, they are uh, very, very fun to work with and um, always enjoy covering the stuff they sent my way. And Dark Root Gardeners, released on November 6th, 2023. Apologies for the delay in coverage, but we are here. We are going to check it out now, and we're going to have a good time. So let's uh, see what we got. As you can see, I have played many hours of the, I have not I have not played it at all yet. We're about to play it for the very first time. On the third day of the sundering, the gods left the earth, and our last hopes left with them. Alright. Our entire world was engulfed by relentless tidal waves, collapsing ground swallowed the old cities of stone, and out of control spirits wreaked havoc on what remained. But then they came. The four elemental spirits to preserve us from the wrath of nature. The grand spirit of balance, he who rules the earth and sky. And the protectors, guardians and heralds of the remaining humans. With peace restored, thus began the age of lost knowledge and rebuilding. But history tends to repeat itself. A lone spirit that should not be a problem. Oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. More is coming in. Uh, coming, coming in? Coming in. I had better use my cards if I want to get out of this alive. The key flows naturally. I can use it to activate cards. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, So, auto-advancing text. No. It's a bad thing. I say it all the time. I'm not going to continue to hark upon that right now but yeah just don't, just don't do it there's no reason to let us uh advance it manually by clicking a button or give us an option for auto advancing all right let's go ahead and throw a heal um i right, press up to to use okay i must strengthen myself but these cards won't do it let's send them back to the deck and get some key in return and then we press down to sell the cards If I pick two cards, I may get those I need. Uh, now, let's use them to strengthen myself. Alright, there's uh, some damage going on there. Okay, uh, oh, gotta get my damage up to 110, got it. Oops. Alright. I should use the burst of energy generated by my cards to weaken its attacks. Use a card when the spirit is about to attack or receive reduced damage. Oh, I was pretty slow there. I see. Oh, when he gets hit, he flashes. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dang it! My brain. We got this. We got this. It's fine. When he flashes red, he's about to attack. There we go. The card's rage is almost full. I just need to use some more. Oh, well, there we go. Let's finish this. I used my super card, and I did that. I am using a PS5 controller right now. It does, unfortunately, only have Xbox control buttons that I've been able to find. But that's fine. I can do the conversion of my head. Oh, protectors of old, please hear our prayers. The spirits have become mad and are rampaging through the lands. I know I see that. Oh, Too late. But there is no hope. Oh. But wait. Blessed be the old ones. My prayers have been heard. Cool. 
He who bears the power to banish those who strayed. It is you. It really is you. What is happening here? What is this strange force that pulled me out of my sleep? Wanderer, are you okay? You've been awakened to fulfill your duty as a protector. Don't you remember? I, I think my memory has been affected by my long slumber. Some parts of my mind feel hard to reach. Yeah, you will probably recover your memory in time, even though time is of the essence right now. Spirits recently started attacking our villages, and I heard the same thing was happening in neighboring areas. They could be uh, fastid fastidious, but they never launch coordinated attacks such as these, nor do they usually display such levels of hostility. Uh-huh. I'm sure that's not how you say that word. I apologize. Only you have the power. To find out what is happening and stop the spirits like you did long ago. The old cards gate has been reactivated by your awakening. You should take a look at it before carrying on. Okay, the deck, I guess. Okay, I managed to get into the deck this time. Sweet, uh, what am I supposed to do? Um, just to bring cards over to the deck? Okay, I don't know what just happened. I, I hit RB and now this is over here. Uh, oh, okay. It just it just threw everything that I had over. Oh, I see. And and if if I if I hit it again. So I could do it manually, or I could hit RB and it's all of the cards. Okay, that's... okay, sure. Very well, the water planes would be a good start for your investigations. You should find other reactive cards gate on your way. Reactivated cards gate? Oh, I almost forgot. I got this ancient journal for you. Most of it's content has been erased by time, but it still contains some valuable information. I trust you will be able to fill the rest by yourself during your travels. Alright, skills, I guess. See when enemies are ready to attack. That does sound useful. Unused cards are automatically sold at the end of fights, increasing the amount of healing. We don't have a whole bunch going on. Alright. I guess we leave. And we go into the water or something? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, we fighting right away, huh? Okay. Sure. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we got a heal in there and stuff, I think. I pressed a, a button to draw a card as opposed to actually attack. So it looks like we have to go down, or I could go right here. What is the 20 with the skull thing in the top right? What does that mean? I think I'm going to go down. A little shielding on there. I healed up. Ooh, we got plus four crits. Okay. I don't know if that carries through the entire run or what, but... 
I suppose we'll find out. Curse never ends. Oh! But your journey will. Okay. We shielded it and we got a little bit of healing out of it. There it is. Oh, there's more. Oh, boy. Do we get the double shield out of that? I don't know. It kind of felt like we might have. Well, we, we were bogged. I don't know what that means. Okay. So, plus two to shield, plus eight to crit. Okay. Kind of hanging in there. Oh, we got some armor stuff coming now, too. I'm a fan. So it looks like there's a little uh, indicator at the top there of, like, what's coming next. Which is uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay, so we got some more crits and some armor out of there. Alright, I'm assuming we're going to get a card or something from here. If we succeed at uh, fighting this. Oh, we got some big boys and stuff coming through. So the shield. Right, let's see what he's got. So we do have a, a, a group on coming up here soon. I, again, I don't know what that thing in the top right means. Oh god. Alright, we're doing the, the big hit there. Okay, we got it. Armor. Is this just showing like how many times we we're able to do these things and what upgrades we got? It doesn't look like they carry over. Alright, and then we get like a super we get to choose a card, okay. Opportunism. One cost times two. I don't know what that means. Plus four army uh, sorry, armor parry and duplirian one? What? What does that mean? Adds X strikes to the next attack. Ah. Sure. Reduce the cost of a random card in her hand to zero. Oh. I guess I'm going to go with armament. Seems like the best choice. I Oh, I could choose additionals. Um, I yeah, that's fine. I, I don't think that's too bad. I think we can maybe go with like a, a 10 piece card situation. And it looks like we could actually kind of keep going and do all sorts of stuff. Again, I don't know what the 80 is over there. It's got me a little concerned, but we'll see. Alright. So we're beating them down a little bit here. Our shielding coming out here. All right, waiting on armament to come up. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. But your journey will end here. Your soul is mine.
There we go. This guy just seems upset. Alright. Simple enough, I guess. Okay, we got big guy again. This is kind of the end. Let's just go ahead and hit him with this. Okay, it looks like we're getting like credits or money or something for it. As well. Ooh, I wonder what that eyeball thing is at the bottom there. All right. Oh, well, hold on. Our shield's at four. Our crits are at 26. Let's uh, see if these go up. Like consistently as we continue. Crits are up to 36. Okay, some, some pretty big hits there. All right, we're going for super uh, move. Our crits are up to 40, our shields at 6. Let's see if uh, that continues. So it looks like maybe it's given us a tally of what we've done per level, but they do stay with us. So if we have over 40, yeah, we do, it does stay with us. So we do want to be building things up as much as possible. Kind of getting our heels back in there. Humanity is doomed. Or humanity is doomed. You really gotta, you gotta sink into it a little bit. Alright. We got some big boys coming out here. Okay, we got some shields coming. Our armor is, uh, it's like our armor fades over time. Like we, we absorb, we get the armor absorbed into stuff. took him out so 16 armor so are we d does the armor come back at the start of combat i don't know i'm curious all right looks like we have uh, maybe a mini boss or something here oh look at this guy this looks like an important place of worship are you the one to whom it is dedicated stand back human no one shall spoil this shrine as i stand I just want to pay my respects to the local spirit. Back off or I shall crush you. So be it. Oh yeah, no we do. Okay. Oh, I don't get to see at all when he's going to attack. I just kind of have to guess. All right.
I don't I don't know what the, the the bubble that's around us what that really does for us, but Hope we somehow get something that like boosts our overall gains here. There we go. Throwing it out. It's about to go down. I think that's enough. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we defeated the, the mini-boss. At least phase one of the mini-boss. Uh, is there a second phase? I'm a little, a little concerned here. Hello there, Protector. I hope my Shura did not give you too much trouble. He started to be a bit too proactive in his protection lately. This was likely caused by the Great Water Spirit's recent actions. Eh, you don't seem to be affected by the Great Spirit's influence. Oh, I'm just a small shrine spirit. The great spirits don't get involved in our affairs, and we don't get involved in theirs. I can give you some advice, though. The great water spirit recently started to use this shrine as a relay for his power. Since you temporarily snatched it away from his control, the local spirits should calm down. You will probably take hold of this place again sooner or later, but that should at least bring you some respite. Thank you. I should take advantage of this and haste myself then. Good luck to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's try this. I think I, I, think I can take a, a second to go up and right and then come back down. Maybe. Again, I, I, don't, I don't know what the numbers and stuff up there do oh good we get a big boy all right cool 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 a little slow on that one. Got the shielding out there. Okay, here we go. I think I got them both shielded. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I, I, hit, I hit the wrong thing. Look at that armament. All right, we keep we keep battering them down. Things are looking okay. We're doing fine on the overall heal wise as well. Taking very little damage because we're shielding correctly, which is very nice. Alright. Big hit. There we go. Oh, we got a double swing on him. We swung on him. That was pretty good. Alright. We threw some extra crits out there, and, uh, yeah. Armor's coming along rather nicely. Do I go for the sword first and then come back? I think I do. I think I'm going to go for the sword first and then we'll come back to the other stuff. I'm going to hurt a little bit. Our armor is uh, slowly getting plinked, plinked down here. Doesn't seem too bad. I think I can let this uh, go for a little bit longer. Now we got the big boy here. Shields 
shield out. Just barely staying ahead of the guy. Oh, I don't have enough key there. Okay. Sweet victory there. Some crit. That's a little bit of the old shield. Some armor. All right, I suppose we'll move forward. We'll try our hands at getting the sword. Now, I don't know how the game saves or any of that stuff. So hopefully it just does. What is this? Oh. There's a challenge. There's cards, a temple, a shura, and a great spirit. So that's the legend. All right, well, this is a challenge. So let's see how this goes. This machine looks like an ancient training device. I should be able to get something from it if I manage to succeed in its trial. Trial of speed. I'm kind of getting molly whopped here, I'm just noticing. I hope we win this. Oh, there's more. Oh, boy. Do we lose? Shell integrity compromise returning to the hub. Oh, we did lose. Okay, so the challenges are actually legit. I thought that was going to be kind of a gimme. We had crushed it so far up to that point. All right, we unlocked the armaments uh, card. Nano machine sun. Uh, received five hits in a row without losing any health point. Okay. Uh, turtling. That was our reward, I guess. Plus 20 armor, shielding one. Uh, new achievement saver. Uh, accumulate 100 key during one fight. Uh, reward charm of fragile wealth. Receive more key and damage. Ooh. Red strength. Perform at least three critical attacks in a row. 15% crit. Leech one. Ooh. Having some troubles, it seems. Did you take a look at your journal? Maybe you'll find something to help you inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll break off the very first episode there. Uh, like I said, it looked like a very fun game. Definitely something I wanted to check out, and I'm super happy I got a chance to go ahead and do so. I am curious as to whether or not I should be checking out stuff up here and whatnot. We'll look around more and see if we can't do a little bit better. Maybe avoid a challenge in the next one, or maybe we try it again and see if we uh, can meet the challenge head on and reign supreme. Uh, who knows? Who can say? Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video will be various links, just like there always are. A big shout out and a thank you to Goblins Publishing and Goblins Studios once again, or studio, I suppose, once again for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I do truly appreciate it. Always happy to work with you guys. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys and gals. I guess like, subscribe, share. We'll throw that out there randomly, I guess. Till the uh, very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.